Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 horror anthology film, Tiny Cinema. A film that is co-written and directed by Tyler Kornack, who also stars in uh, one of, certainly one of the stories anyway. And with this being a horror anthology, I'm not going to list, you know, who appeared in each story sort of thing. If it's your bag and you like horror anthologies, watch it yourself. You'll see all these wonderful, talented people yourself. Right. Let's get right into it then. Uh, horror anthologies are, uh, generally speaking, films that I like to watch. I like the, you know, the short story approach. Um, you don't have to think too much, you know, a good 15, 20 minutes story, and then you move on to the next one. All very digestible, uh, and generally speaking, I quite like them. And here, with Gator, with um, Tiny Cinema, we get six short stories. Um, the first one is called Game Night. Now, Game Night focuses on one particular chap who is kind of given a trigger word for some reason that kind of spirals him out of control, and he, he, lo he loses his mind, basically. Um, and that is the sole focus of this story, of this guy slipping into madness. Um, it's quite disturbing, it's quite humorous at times as well, and that's something that needs to be said about a lot of the stories here. I mean, this, this essentially is uh, horror with some quite dark comedy sprinkled into it, and sprinkled into it quite well and effectively, I would say. Uh, and certainly most of the stories have an element of humour associated with them, and this is no exception. Um, so yeah, Game Night, it was certainly watchable, it was different, it was odd. Um, but yeah, it, it, was, it was a decent start. The second story, well they're called chapters, not stories in this film, but the second one is called Edna. And this one <laughs> was a bit mad as well, about this woman who essentially is suicidal, and she, you know, she can't find any relationship, anything worthwhile in her life. She's on the edge. She's about to commit suicide, and she finds essentially a corpse that she proceeds to take home. This corpse of this dead man, um, and essentially has the perfect relationship from there. Um, it. I won't tell you how the story concludes, but it takes a little bit of a twist uh, and kind of goes full circle almost. But it, it was a fascinating story in many, many ways. Again, a bit dark, a bit odd, um, humorous here and there, um, and certainly different, I would say. The third story, third chapter, was called um, Bust. Wow, this one. How do, I, how, do, how do I explain this one? Okay, there's a group of guys who discover... It's almost like the 40-year-old virgin. You know, when he admits that he's a virgin. Well, there's one of them in this group that admits that he can't... How shall I put this? Um, finish what he starts, if you know what I mean. Um, he struggles to um, finish the process. Um <laughs> So they did, and the only and the only time it ever happened, he explains, was when he witnessed someone robbing his house, which aroused him. So his group of friends decide they're going to help their friend, and they decide to stage some robberies in order to help their friend to try and you know get him where he needs to be. <laughs> it sounds so odd describing it. Trust me, it's more odd. Um, watching it than describing it, and the robbery is just escalate out of control. So that 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 that's chapter three. It's called Bust, and it's different, if nothing else. Um, and there's some moments in it where you'll just be like, "What is going on? Who thought of this?" Chapter four was called, and this is another mad one. I mean, they're all a bit mad, but chapter four was called Deep Impact, and I think this is the one. I might be wrong that stars the guy that directed it and it's about a guy who delivers packages and he is tasked with delivering a package to himself out in the desert somewhere he turns up to this guy who is apparently um as this guy explains him from the future and he explains to him there is an asteroid coming hurtling towards earth and the only way they could save them save themselves on the world is if the him from the present has sex with him from the future. 
and that will stop this asteroid from clattering into the earth that's all i'm going to say on this story yeah it's as mad as it sounds um chapter five is called mother <clears throat> as um and this is a, a group of guys sat around a table, basically talking bollocks, as guys do when they tend to get around a table and there's alcohol involved and stuff like that. One of them admits that he'd quite like to have sex with another one's mother. Hence the title of the story. So therefore, how shall I put this? He decides that he's going to or more pretty much force him to do just that. Um, yeah, again, as mad as it sounds. Um, and chapter six is a story called Daddy's Home. And it's about this guy who goes on a blind date with this woman. It's going really, really well. Um, and it takes a very, very weird turn because this, this woman has got a strange... Um, asphyxiation if you like towards her daddy uh, hence the title daddy's home that's all i'm going to say in that story again it's a bit bonkers so yeah guys uh, there's a theme here with these stories it, oh, it's all a bit bonkers it's all a bit mad but you cannot describe it as conventional um each one of these stories takes risks to some degree do they all work no are some of them a bit silly yes but they're all different and they're all original um, and you, you definitely could not describe them as conventional, as conventional horror. Um, and I appreciated that, even though I think it does miss the mark at times. Um, I think for an anthology film, it kind of stands out a little bit because of its originality. Um, the humour, as subtle and dark as it is, is there. The performances by everybody, I think, are top notch. Um, and while I wouldn't describe this as low budget, it's it's um, it's 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 got some good production values going on here. You know, it's it's filmed nicely, it's very polished, um, and I think it's a decent attempt at delivering a horror anthology that is a little bit different. Um, yeah, uh, it's a bit odd, absolutely. Uh, a bit freaky, but I certainly appreciated it for the most part. So I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. I, did, I was very tempted to give it a 7 out of 10, but I think a 6 out of 10 is probably a fairer score. Um, but let me know, guys, if you've watched this film, what you thought of it in the comments. Certainly different, I think, um, and I think it's probably going to divide some audiences who watch it, I suspect. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more content on the channel very, very soon.